hello, hello. How are you? Hi, Teresa. How are you? Let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. Hope you guys are doing great today. This is Thursday, March 7th. Today is my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Heather. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Mel. How are you guys doing? Hi, Christina. Hope you guys are doing great. Hello, hello, hello. Um, today, we are going to be doing some faux resin panels. Hi, Barbara. Thank you guys for coming on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Rima. Um, hope you guys are having a fabulous day so far and a great week. Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different tonight. We're taking um, a, just a slight detour from the spring uh, release. We're going to actually play with some papers from my friends at Paper Designs um, that are just like they just hit the shelves. They're brand new in. Uh, we started shipping these to retailers this week. Um, so we are going to take a break from Decoupage Queen and switch over to our friends at Paper Designs. Um, I want to show you guys a couple of little things that I got in the mail. Um, I'm going to open one of them and then the other one I've already opened. So you guys know Tracy from Scrappy's Rustics. Tracy from Scrappy's Rustics sent me this little cradle. And it's to keep all of your stuff from rolling away when you're crafting. You can set your products and stuff in there. Um, so that's really cool. Thank you, Tracy, if you come on and see this. And then I got a couple um, things I wanted to actually, it's just one box. I haven't opened it yet. So I figured I'd open it. I actually bought this on um, eBay. So a couple, let's see, I guess it was almost a month ago. Um, Nicole and Terry were doing a, Nicole's Recycling Treasures and Terry were doing an auction and there was a cloth that I wanted that I didn't win. Um, and so I decided I'm just going to have to do my own clock. <laughs> so I bought, I've been, I've been looking on eBay for a while. Ooh, I hate these things with a passion full of packing peanuts. Um, and I found one that I liked. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to upcycle this, but I have to, I really need to spend some time thinking about what I'm going to do. Uh, but I was wanting one like for my, you know, for, our, for the office. Um, Nice. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Hold on a second. Okay, so this one is, I got it on eBay and I actually got a pretty good deal on it. I love eBay way more than I should. Um, what did you say? Oh, you got your order today. Excited to try out Expand and Be Pace. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, those are some fun products, you guys. Band and be paste. I do have the blog post up now. If you watched on Sunday, um, I do finally have the blog post up. Okay. So here's the clock I got. This is actually much bigger than I thought it was. It's um, a Seth Thomas. And it's like a big... Um, there's something rolling around back there. I don't know what that is, but it's like a big, what is that? Oh, it's the battery. The, the, the battery fell out. So it does work, and it's a big desktop clock, and it has, like, you know, a little compartment in the back. But look at that. I just think it's so beautiful, and I'm going to do something with it. I don't know what yet, but we are going to. I am going to upcycle this. I don't know what or how or when, but I am going to do something fun with that since I didn't win Nicole's beautiful, beautiful clock. Okay. So uh, that's it for show and tell at the moment. I'm off, I also ordered a, a tray, um, one of those tiered trays because I have the stuff from um, designed by Dina, designs by Dina, and also from um, the Rust Cover Cottage that I want to make one of those pretty um, tiered trays with. So 
uh, I ordered a tiered tray, and once that get, gets in, maybe next week we'll we'll do a couple more Easter projects with that stuff. All right, but in the meantime, we're gonna switch down the camera, and I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm doing. These are um, eight by twelve panels and they're from Michaels um, and they are awesome so I'm try, trying to center them a little bit they are awesome and what we're gonna do hello Robin how are you we are going to let's see if I can put my light on a little bit higher there uh, hello 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 so we are going to do some faux resin panels tonight and we're going to be using pouring glaze. I've already painted these white. These are like cradled panels from Michaels. Um, and we're going to be using a couple new papers from Paper Designs. We're going to be using these two because I just love them. I'm going to move this off to the side for just a second. Um, I just love these two. So we're going to be using this one. This is Views 0212. And views 0207. So we're going to be making a mat. It's kind of like a coordinating pair. One has the one has like a, a lake, quiet lake scene, and the other one has these beautiful houses on it. But they do coordinate very well because they both have the same color scheme and the houses in the back of one. They're beautiful, beautiful papers. These just came in. Um, so any of my retailers, if you order these and have them on the way, feel free to share your link to those. Uh, those are the paper designs, papers. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some faux resin. I didn't clean my, my area. So we're going to get that on there. Um, we're not going to worry about the sides yet. We're just going to worry about the tops. So we're going to get that stuff on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to embellish with um, some crushed glass shards. Um, these crushed glass pieces um, I got from um, my friend Amanda. She's at Metal Modern Design. and. Um, I'm going to type the name in. I don't know if it'll, I don't think it's going to tag her, but this is the name of her Facebook page. Um, and I don't know if Sue or somebody is on that can find uh, her Facebook page, but that's her Facebook page. And I get all my glass shards and stuff like for nautical and sea, sea themed projects. I get it from her. Um, so I got, I have crushed glass. And then she does all her stuff with resin, but tonight I'm actually going to use pouring glaze, and that's why I'm calling it a faux resin piece. So we're going to be using these two colors. This is like, I think this one is called, I think it's called Caribbean Blue. I'm not positive. Um, this one is kind of like a brown. And then this, this one, this bright gold one, I actually got this one on Amazon. Um... So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you, Sue. Um, and I'm going to just dry this because I had just primed them before I came on. So I'm just going to dry these real fast. Hi, Terry. You missed my clock, Terry, that I uh, am going to upcycle. I got me a beautiful desk clock that I'm going to um, work on since I didn't win uh, Nicole. And I've been waiting for her to send me one, but she hasn't. So I got to do my own. I got to make my own. Yes, I'm be I'm kidding. I know sometimes, sometimes when I tell jokes, people can't tell that I'm telling jokes because I have a very dry sense of humor. All right. All right. Let's see. All 
All right, here it is, Terry. I'll show you. I'll show Julie. Just tell me at the end. Uh, I'm I'm not going to remember. All right, so here it is. <laughs> it's really big. It's a Seth Thomas. Um, it's really really cool. So, and it has a handle at top at the top. It's massive though. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do one at a time. Let me get this on here. And I actually think I am going to cut it. So let me cut it first. I'm going to cut it. It's just slightly. Um, it is just slightly. Uh, I know. Well, what I might do is is send it to you to decorate for me because it, it seems like more than I really, really wanted. Like, I feel like I might have, I haven't even started it yet, but I'm like a little bit overwhelmed. I might have bit off more than I can do. I don't know. All right. This is Views 0212. Um, any of my retailers who want who are on, if you have this paper, let us know. It was a few weeks ago, Robin. It was it maybe even about a month ago, actually. Um, yeah, and I had bid like really high on this clock because I wanted it, and then somebody came in behind me and Magnet, which is, you know, it's totally their right to do. But <clears throat> Mama's got to have a clock. All right. So that fits just about perfect. And then I'll, I'll have a little bit of room to um, come in on the sides a little bit. Let's cut this one. That's why I love these panels because they really are like the perfect size for our A4 papers. Um, these are from Michael's. I use them all the time. This is the same size that I did my mixed media heart with. And I just wanted something kind of decorative. And I know these are, this, this paper to me seems a little bit more fall than spring. But as soon as I saw the teal and gold, I was like, holy moly, those colors are so pretty. Um, so I couldn't wait to do something with them. I love these wood panels. I love them so much. You guys, did y'all see um, Cindy Crane's decoupage? panel that she did with my birds and she used Sheila's Harlequin. She posted it in the Decoupage Queens and Kings group. If you didn't see it, you definitely should go over there and um, take a look at it. It is amazing. So, all right. So, you realize you have more canvases, canvases than boxes. Oh, I know. Well, I buy these in bulk. Miriam, so I buy them like 12 at a time. Um, and my husband always fusses at me because I, what I usually do is I have him put the hooks on the back before I start working. But um, I have run out of the ones with the hooks on them. So he always fusses at me because he's worried he's going to mess something up if I put the hooks on after. He's like, you got to do this before. And I'm like, well, you got to do it. You can't just leave me hanging. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this on here. Um, let me, I think I want more space at the bottom than I do the top. It's. I have to tell you guys, it's bringing me so much joy to see people doing projects with my hand painted birds um much more really more than any other i mean i have hand painted things in the past 
but I really, really poured my heart and soul into those birds, you guys. And they're very special to me because um, I made them for Nancy, who's very special to me. And so uh, it's just like every time I see a project done with my birds, I, I get a little bit emotional, which, you know, used to happen to me quite a bit when I first started designing papers, whenever I would see projects with my papers, I, I actually would get emotional. It doesn't happen that often anymore, <laughs> you know? Um, but the first, you know, first, I guess the first few months that I started seeing my papers being used. But anyways, I'm having that same feeling now, people with the projects with my birds. Um, so anyway, y'all keep using those birds and share your pictures with me. I love seeing them. Okay. Oof. This is the matte um, decoupage glue. And if you haven't used the, it's ultra matte, sorry, this is the ultra matte. And uh, we're, I'm actually sold out of the, my favorite one, which is the regular matte, um, which is, it's funny to me that I prefer that one now because I actually am the one who told Pintart to make me this one. And I wanted them to make it for me because I didn't like their formula. Um, but by the time they made this one, I had gotten so used to the other one and I actually now prefer it. So I don't even use really the one that they make for me that much. Um, I do like it a lot. And the thing about this one is that it is ultra, ultra matte and it will not show any, uh, it's a little bit thicker. It's not as wet, that makes sense. And it will not show any brush strokes when it's dry. It also, like if you combine this decoupage medium with um, with paint, like a matte paint, you know how sometimes if you take your uh, decoupage medium and you rub it into the paint a little bit on top, the area will look different. It looks slightly glossier. Well, this one will not at all. So it's actually a really, really nice decoupage glue. Um, but if you kind of, you stick with what you're used to, right? And so I had gotten so used to the other one because I didn't have a great alternative. Uh, and now I actually prefer it. So it's like, I know it, I know how it's going to act better. So it's more predictable for me, I guess I should say. So, so anyway, I have a whole jar of this one. So we'll be using this one for a little while. Thank you, Karen. I know Kimberly's frame that she did on that little bird was amazing. Uh, those paintings are available, you guys. So I don't know if anybody saw, but I am selling the original paintings and you can get them either framed or unframed. Um, so I am, I do have all my original artwork work available and listed you can go to exclamation point available to see what i currently have uh, the only thing that i haven't listed on there right now is that galvanized picture um, that i did with the spring birds paper that is not up yet that'll probably be up by friday um, my camellia tray sold and my panel that um, bird panel that I made sold. But I do have quite a bit available right now. And if you get my all my stuff, that means I don't have to have an auction. I really don't want to have an auction. So you got to get it to help me not have an auction. I really don't like auctions at all. I like to watch other people's auctions, but I don't like having them. I find it very stressful. 
<laughs> and I have to eliminate stress in my life. All right. So getting these on here. Yes, I agree. These are really, really pretty papers. Very pretty papers for sure. And this is a nice, this is actually a very nice decoupage glue. So um, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a chance. All right. So let me dry these. Oh, it's better if I dry them together. It's this one, Julie. This is the ultra matte because I'm sold out of my regular one. This, I'm sold out of this one in um, the 250 size. And my palettes are stuck in customs. That's the story of my life, you guys. My standard answer is whenever, so, when, uh, when is something going to be back in stock? My standard answer is whenever it gets released from customs. I haven't decided what I'm going to do to the sides yet. And there's actually, in this series, there's actually two more papers. So it might actually be kind of fun to do all four of them, you know, to have like a complete um, gallery tile set. Yes, yeah, definitely, uh, Trina. Please watch the road. Do not watch and drive. Yeah, so I might do the whole series because I love these papers so much. So I might do the, the all four of them. I don't know. You guys tell me, would you consider what any of you want to have a set of four for your house? Because you guys are the ones buying this stuff. So if anybody wants uh, the other two, maybe what I'll do is I'll offer these two, and then if anybody wants the other two, we'll do those two. Julie Wood. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of work along the side to bring uh, those edges in a little bit to kind of finish it off. Uh, we're going to use um, Ivy Green and maybe Sparkling Blue and then maybe a little black as well. Yeah, let's get a little black. And we're going to just come around these edges here. And... Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, they're they're just gorgeous. And wait till you see with the um I'm mixing ivy green and sparkling blue. So when we get that crushed glass on there, it's gonna be really phenomenal. And I'm just trying to kind of create like a framed out um, effect along the sides. I'm not trying to, to blend the whole thing. So we may have to do a couple coats of this one. So this is kind of like my little painted border here. Hi, Tina. Yeah, like if you lived um, up north and you have a lake house or something. So I don't know, I might do some stenciling on the side. I'm not sure yet. We got time though to figure out that. Pine trees and spruce. How awesome. I've never seen a place like this, but I sure would love to. Does it, do places like this exist? I'm not sure. So you guys, um, I signed up to take um, an oil painting class. Um, it's an eight week boot camp for portraits. And the artist's name is Arthur Gain. Um, I'm actually very, very excited about it because it's one thing I've always really wanted to, to do and to do well is portrait painting uh, in oils. So I'm very excited. Um, and it, it actually starts on Saturdays and it's like right at my pent art time frame, but I'm, the good thing is, is that it's recorded, so I can, uh, I'm not going to sit there and paint while he's lecturing anyway, so I can go at my own pace. New Hampshire. Oh my gosh, how awesome would that be, right? So 
so we'll see. You know, most of my struggle is having the time to do all the stuff that I want. But anything worth doing takes time. All right. So there's one. I'm going to set that off to the side. So I, I do like the way that that sort of framed it out. Uh, and then I'll come back. I'll do another coat and let that one dry. And I'm going to do this one the exact same way, which will also help to kind of tie them together as a coordinating pair. But the prints are slightly different, but they do coordinate. Well, they're very different, actually. Thank you, Rennie. So yeah, I'm going to try it. I'll let you know how it goes. And maybe I'll um, share some of my progress updates with y'all. Because, yes, that's one of my goals is to really just, um, I love decoupage so much. I really do. But I also want to incorporate more of my own artwork into the decoupage queen brand, which means I need to level up my skills um, and keep learning. You know, that's what it's all about is to keep learning. Okay. I will, as long as they're share worthy. <laughs> um, uh, Karen, if you want, um, yes, if you want all four prints, go ahead and email me and we'll work something out. And then that way I won't even have to put them on the website. And we'll do like a... Um, a package deal on all four and the same goes if any of you guys are interested in my original artwork like with the birds I do have all four of them available and if you wanted all four I would definitely consider like a bundle price on all of those as well because I do think they kind of belong together All right, so here's this one. All right. All right, and I'm going to do a little bit more here. And then the other, the other two of these prints, one is another set of houses, and then the other one is uh, is uh, another like lake scene, very similar to this. Although I'm thinking now, I have to go back and I have to look at the print because I'm thinking one of them may be horizontal. I don't remember. If it is for horizontal, we'll have to get creative. Or I asked my friends to make me a special one. 
Okay. I see, make me a special one. All right, so I think that looks good. I don't see any white spots that I need to fill. I'm gonna dry this real fast and then I'm gonna pick it up and look at it. Stu, oh, Stu said there's four vertical and one, okay. So if there's four vertical, that will work. Denise, do you have these in stock, these prints? Or did you order them? If you did, you can share your link. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do before I start pouring stuff down is I do think I am going to go ahead and paint the sides uh, with the teal just in case some drips down. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid drips along the sides, but in case some does drip down, that will help me kind of work around it. This isn't as um, messy as resin, though. So it's a clean, it's a little bit, it's cleaner and easier to work with, in my opinion, the pouring glaze. But I am going to go ahead and paint the sides. And I'm not, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do fully, if I'm going to stencil or, or what, or leave it. I don't know. Maybe we'll crackle. I don't know. There's a whole host of things we could do. It it actually kind of looks pretty just painted. I'll let whoever's buying it decide. Hi, Annette. I do love projects like this because they're very straightforward. It's like wall art, you know? Like you really can't go wrong with wall art. This actually needs two coats. Um, Thanks, Annette. These are from um, Paper Designs in Italy. This is from their new uh, spring and summer catalog. They had a couple other gorgeous ones. I do have a couple other, I brought a couple other ones home. I'll show you because I was thinking I might do something with those too. They had some other really pretty ones that were, it was like moonlight. It was like a, on still water, like a nighttime scene. Um, kind of looked like a canyon in the background. And then I don't know if you guys saw 
AB, we just got some new AB Studios papers in. Um, there's one that I'm just dying over. It's a, a kitten in a teacup, like a little lavender kitten in, um, sitting in a teacup. And I'm just like, oh my, it's a four pack actually. And I'm just like, I'm going bananas for that one. So I'm definitely going to do something with that one too. There's so many good papers out right now. Okay. This is this is the best. Uh, there's never been a better time, I tell you what, to be a decoupage artist because there is so much to choose from. Um, and we've got them all. All right. So let's do the same thing over here. I know those kitten ones are to die for. One of them actually kind of looks like my cat. So stay tuned because I will be doing. Um, I will be doing something with that. We went to go visit my mom tonight um, and her kitten, Tasha. That kitten is such a little mess. She's a little tuxedo kitten and she is just as cute as she can be. Yeah, they coordinate with like, they have a bunch of, um, uh, like lavender Parisian scenes. So, very cute stuff. So is anybody doing anything fun this weekend? Heather's going to come over on Sunday and um, we're going to take her to lunch. Okay, on Saturday, uh, on um, Pent Art 101, we are going to be doing waxes and antique paste. And we'll be talking about how to use both of those and the differences and when you would choose one over the other. Oh, Julie, I'm sorry. Rima's got Easter cookies to make. Mm. There's spring release. Um, Patricia, who's who's spring release? The paper designs or AB? We have them. We um we did load all of them to the DQ site. And I know a lot of our retailers bought both of them. So you'll be seeing a lot of them here pretty soon. Because we just started shipping them this week.
All right, so I think I'm just about done here with what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to dry one more time. And then we'll start putting down some embellishment. Okay. Hey, Trina. Welcome back. Yeah, I think Tammy will have them soon. And if not, you can always ask her. Okay, so I think I'm about ready. Want to make sure everything's good and dry before you before you use the pouring glaze. Um, and actually, I forgot one thing. I do want to do um, chameleon varnish on these because that just gives it an extra layer of sparkle underneath. So my question to y'all is if I should do gold or silver chameleon varnish. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, vote. Uh, Renny, I use acrylics right now, but I do I do paint in oils, but for the ones that I do for decoupage queen, I use acrylics. Um, so do you guys want gold or silver? So I got two votes for gold. Gold. I'm thinking gold too. It's warmer because these are warmer scenes. So I'm going to shake it up really good. All right. Everybody's saying gold. That's what I was thinking too. Somebody said she's actually seen something like this in... New Hampshire, was it? I've never seen anything like it. All right, so we're going to do gold. And that's just going to give it another layer of sparkly dimension, which is going to shine through really, really pretty um, after we get the pouring glaze down. So you just want to make it really even. Make sure it gets on there coated very evenly. Don't miss any spots. I think I got it. I think I got it. And uh, one thing I will say about these is it is difficult to capture how beautiful that is on camera. 
but it really is just magnificent. And then we're going to dry it again, and then we'll get to um, embellishing. And there's no reason why we couldn't do this with resin. I just don't feel like dealing with resin tonight. All right. So let's dry. I missed one little area right here. Sometimes you gotta kind of look at it from an angle. Oh, I got one more area I need to get right, right there. If you look at it from the side, you can see. Um. Yeah, I'm in Georgia and we don't have anything like this here. So let me tilt this up so you can see. I don't know if you can see if you can see the sparkle or not, but it's there and it's gorgeous. I'm still a little sticky, so I need to dry a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So this is the one that I'm going to start with. This is um, Zen Q, and it's like crushed gold glass. Um, I'm actually going to get some gloves because my hands are very sensitive. Um, and I will start. Uh, I'll, I'll have pain in my hands all night from touching this stuff. It's not toxic or anything, but the edges can be very sharp. 
this one. I didn't want to, I had to do this last time. I don't think you can. Oh, is there tape on it? Yeah. Oh. All right. Let me get a plate here. Okay. There. Okay. She's like, Mom, there's tape on the other side. Can you get me um something to drink, just some water? All right, and then these were these are the ones that I got from Amanda at Metal uh, Metal Modern, and I think this one is called I think it's called Caribbean Blue. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to start kind of placing it wherever I want it to stay. I don't you don't have to glue it down ahead of time because the pouring glaze kind of does that. It's going to stick it down. Um, so, and then I might come in and do some of the brown. I'm not sure yet. Thank you. All right, so let's do a little bit of this one down here. This is reflective glass, this one, the blue one, um, which means one side of it is mirrored. So see, one side has a mirror, and then the other side is clear. And that, that's kind of what causes um, the reflections to kind of come through. And so I want the side that's mirrored, I actually want that facing down because otherwise you're just going to see silver. Uh, I'm trying to kind of do it randomly, but I'm also trying to make sure there's not too much in any one spot and kind of trying to divvy out my large chunks from my small chunks. So, um, and I don't want, like, I don't... It, I don't want it to be overkill. It doesn't have to be everywhere, just in some key spots, right? Like I might not even do this corner at all. So that actually might be enough to give me some interest and movement and 3D without going crazy. Because I don't want to completely lose the scene either. What do you think? Do you think that's enough? Are you going to do it down again? Hmm? No, I'm going to leave that blank. Great. You like it? What do you guys think? Can y'all even see the gold? All right, now let's come in here. And let's do, we're going to do some gold along the sides here. You said add more food. Someone said add more blue. Mm. Hi, Mara. Blue ones are pretty big. Hmm? Blue ones are pretty big. Yeah, they're bigger. The blue ones are bigger than the gold ones. Thank you, Mira. I do have some that are kind of, they show up clear, but they don't, we'll get, we'll get a couple and we'll see if that'll do. All 
the clear sort of gets lost um, once you put the product on. We'll do some smaller blue in here. Uh, you should like to fade it out. Kind of ombre. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can see the blue. Can they see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. She's got a good eye, too, I have to say. All right, so I think that looks good. Um, the clear is just not going to do very much for it, I, I don't think. You think we need anything over here? I do have some brown. What's that? We'll add a little bit and see what we think, if we like it or not. I think it actually works a little bit kind of in these darker areas. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like that? Do you think I need any up here, any of the brown up there? No. A couple there. No, she said no to brown up there. And then I could put a little brown over here. Maybe put more details in the trees. Very pretty. More details in the trees on the left. Yeah. You might want to move that one so it's not a straight. Do you? If you dropped it, would they all shatter? Yeah, that, well, they wouldn't shatter, but little tiny shards could get everywhere. and So we have to be really careful with these around the cat. It's literally. Yeah. I might do a couple more down here. Hi. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember, I did some, when I did my winter samples, I did my cardinals and I, I used the same crushed glass, but on those, I actually used resin. I didn't use, um, um, I didn't use, uh, pouring glaze. Okay, so I like it. I think I'm good. It looks really pretty from where I'm sitting. Let me see if I turn, if I adjust my light. If you guys can see it better. Can you see it better like that or with the light on? I think it looks better like that, but y'all tell me. All right, so I have, um, we're, we're about to find out, Patricia. So I have, uh, this is pouring glaze, all right, which is a one part product that does mimic the effect of resin. It's gonna go on milky white. Um, oh, my cat is right, literally right under me. It's gonna go on milky white, but it will dry clear. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this glove back on because I might actually touch it to move it around. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and pour this on. And you're just going to pour it right on top of your glass shards. I have the 250 milliliter size. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of move it around with a brush. So you can paint this on or you can pour it on. And I'm gonna move it around a little bit.
And you can stick your glass down um, like right in it too. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna kind of move some of it to the edges. And notice I didn't pour, I didn't put a lot of shards close to the edges because I knew I needed a little bit of room to maneuver. And if it floats down the side, that's fine. What I can do is come in and just kind of wipe it. I have, a lot, I have some pouring down on the side, which is fine. So you can kind of take, that's why I'm wearing a glove too, because you can kind of take and wipe it back a little bit. So you don't have to torch this like you do with resin. You don't have to torch it to get any bubbles out. And then the uh, paintbrush will just clean up with um, soap and water. Okay. So that's one. And I'll watch it, you know, if, if any starts to pour down that I don't want pouring down, um, I'll just come, I'll come in every so often and like clean up my edge. And I do the same thing with resin, you guys, just so you know, like I do spend a lot of time wiping edges with resin. All right. So the time is, you're going to let it dry pretty much overnight. It is self level. It is self-leveling, but you do need to push it to the edge. And it's possible that um, uh, you might need more than one coat if you have some gaps or whatever. Yeah. So, all right. So there's one. And I used about half the jar. It was a little less than half the jar on that one. So let's do this one. So I'm glad I've been putting this demo off until we had the bigger size of the pouring glaze and we just got the bigger size in not too long ago. Um, which helps with projects like this because you would be going through a lot of jars if you were trying to do it with the 100 milliliter size.
So no mixing, uh, no heat torch, no, um, no uh, ruined brushes. If I tried to do my resin with, this is a water-based product, so it will actually clean right up. So just making sure it's all going where I want it to go. Yeah, and it's going to be really, really pretty when it's done, Patricia. It does start to get tacky faster than resin. So in this case, um, like I probably won't have to babysit it too much longer because it is now starting to get tacky. Stones. It was a chameleon varnish, which has like a gold mica in it. So you're just going to want to come, come around and clean up your edges, including the top that you might not be able to see. You might have some drips up the top that you don't know about. Make your sides. And if you get a couple of drips on the sides, you guys. So um, my friend Amanda from Metal Modern, who does resin art, this is what she's kind of told me about, about drips when it comes to this kind of stuff, is that it's actually um, like, you know, we stress about perfection and drips, but she's like, you know, I try to clean them up some, but actually don't worry about it too much anymore because... Um, that is part of the beauty of handmade and you know that somebody made it by hand. So, um, if you get, if, if you leave some drips behind or you don't catch them all, don't stress about it. It's still going to be a beautiful piece and, um, it's just not that big of a deal. So. Yes, you can use this instead of resin for jewelry, for sure. I have done that. You definitely can use this instead of resin for jewelry. But you can see I, why I wanted to paint the sides first before I did this. So you guys, that's about it. I will, I will keep babysitting this and trying to kind of catch my drips. Um, I won't sit here all night. <laughs> But you can see it's already starting to level out pretty well. Um, the trick is just to kind of put, if it doesn't go all the, way, all the way where you want it, the trick is really to kind of push it where you want it. Um, so any questions? I know this was kind of a, this was a little bit longer than we normally do. And this was kind of meaty. So if you have any questions, I will definitely answer them. We will do, we will cover pouring glaze separately in Pentart 101, but you guys get to have a preview tonight on this project. Uh, we also do have resin, so we will actually be looking at resin too. So if you have any questions, I will definitely, I can definitely answer them. Um, if not, then y'all, I'll see you on Saturday and we will talk about uh, waxes and varnish on Saturday. Uh, you can get the glass. The glass is, oh, uh, the paint. Okay, so one, let's see. The first question, I used ivy green and mixed with a little bit of sparkling blue. The glass, you can use, uh, you can get it from um, Metal Modern Design. My friend Amanda over there carries it. Can you use it on a mirror? I think you could use it on a mirror, Rima. I don't see why not. Um, 
pouring glaze. What else is pouring glaze? I use it like if I'm framing something, you know, like if I'm if I'm putting a little frame mold on an image, sometimes I'll pour some pouring glaze over the decoupage for that. Um, anybody got anything else? Ask away, friends. What brand is the paper? Is Paper Designs. It's Views something. Um, you can get the glass. You can get some glass at Michael's, but uh, you know, if you want to support a small business, my friend Amanda with Metal Modern has tons of it, um, and she works. She works really hard at what she does. So I would appreciate if anybody wants to support a fellow small business owner, um, go check her out. Thank you, Sue. Appreciate that. Okay, you guys, well, have a great night and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye, everybody.